Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. I am Rena Wells, and I'm here to do your Astata, your spring equinox reading. And I'm going to be a little surprised if you're if you're returning. I'm doing which you guys have been seeing um, the playing cards. So this is Cartomancy Cardology, which is um, something I learned very young. So we're going to get started right away. If you are new, welcome. Take take a look around. Listen to all the teachings. Um, if you guys want to work with me, all the info is down below. Um, yeah, and let's just get started. Please like this video if, uh, as you're moving along and you, and you like the messages and you stick around, please like. It helps my channel to grow. Uh, yeah, let's get started. This is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And also make sure you guys take a look at your north node. It is the direction that you are moving towards. It gives you some insight about your life path as well. This is for high level connections, twin flames, soulmates. Let's do it. All right, guys. What is going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus and North Node? Think of your person. The masculine energy is usually the red color in this deck and in the playing cards and... Feminine is dark, and it's whoever has, some people go by features, um, that's the old gypsy way, this was taught to me by an actual um, old lineage, so you're not, this isn't something you're going to find on YouTube, or uh, instructional manual, or course, this was passed down from old, old world, old world, alright, let's go, what is going on, um, so yeah, it could be either the person that, that looks like, if you go by features, with uh, lighter features would be red and the darker features would be, you know, dark hair and whatnot would be the black, but um, we're gonna do energy as well. So let's take a look. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Aquarius? So I usually spell the person's name, but we are going to be doing um, seven cards is what Spirit told me to do because it is a very magical spiritual number. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll see who's thinking more of your person, uh, you or them. This is also for all the new energies that are coming in and how your connection is transitioning. We are an age of Aquarius, so things are happening a lot faster, you guys. Um, and so with age of Aquarius, these, these equinoxes and things that we've had like before, this is a lot more potent. So the spirit wants to bring through that these are the new vibrations that are coming through. Make sure you take a look at all the other placements in your chart to get a full picture of what is going on. Your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the north node. And um, also look at these readings more than once. Um, one for you, one for yourself, and one for the connection, okay? That also helps as well. All right. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Wow, so feminine is very much thinking a lot about the masculine here, okay? So there is a lot of energy of masculine, I mean, the feminine thinking of the masculine. Let me just take a look at this. <sighs> this masculine is really stuck up in his pain and karmic patterns. This masculine is um, having a hard time making a decision is what I'm seeing. Um, and intuitively picking up. So guys, I also read highly intuitively, okay? Um, and I work very close with Creator, Force, Father God energy, and Mother Earth energy. Um, yeah, there's a pair here, but this is um, the feminine energy really feeling the masculine's darkness um, and the karmic situations of what's happening. So Spirit is saying it's really heavy right now because these masculines are ready for a purge. You may want to watch the Aries reading and the Sagittarius. They were both about masculines ready to uh, awaken. Um, so if you have Aries or Sag in your chart, you may want to take a look at that. This is about the Holy Trinity, though. This is about passion and darkness and how we view attraction, how we view physical stimulus. Um, this has to do with spirit is bringing up. This is a mix match of stuff. There's still some childhood traumas that are playing out for the masculine. The masculine is here thinking of the feminine, but it's more about, um, new beginnings in his material world. Okay. Um, you'll find some similarities with tarot in here cause they somehow interchange, but what's happening is there's a lot of dark energy guys. Okay, a lot of karmic energy. So if you've been feeling heavy, Aquarius, this is the time to rest in the karmic energies 
um, to allow it to purge. Start transmuting when dark energies happen, okay? Um, it's to try, and, I know it can be suffering and painful, but as you're purging is do your best to bring prayer into it. And this is for divine feminines because I feel you're purging for this masculine. This masculine, we're going to take a look because this masculine is um, very deeply into his life um, and trying to uh, change. There's a lot of changes happening. I'm just looking at this card because this is the only card with the masculine. So as I'm like seeing it, it's like definitely there's a karmic situation happening with money. Um, this this love for the feminine is hidden below a lot of this darkness, okay? Before this change can come in passionately for the divine feminine. So as I'm seeing it is there's some depth work for this masculine to still go through Aquarius um, before this... Um, passion of God's passion um, and action can come towards divine feminine okay we have here um, really much in a betrayal place of where the focus is going and where the um, it's a lack mentality is really what I'm getting here it's creating a lot of issues for divine feminine so divine feminine because of this masculine having somebody else or choosing a career or choosing um yeah stability uh you gotta understand here divine feminines if you're watching this this is just <sighs> there's only so much as masculine can handle <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and here goes the throat so <laughs> I feel this masculine wants to talk, but what's happening is like, I don't feel that this is a masculine that is suppressing, okay? I feel this masculine is taking a much needed break before the next uh, roll uh, of darkness comes through. So uh, we can only purge in layers, Spirit is saying, in bits and pieces. So this masculine has recently just gone through a massive um, purging process, but there's still some alignment that needs to happen. So they're in a resting place. What's happening because of that resting place, it's causing a lot of stuff to come up in the feminine energy and to feel the heaviness of the remnants of the energy that this masculine has just recently released. So how does it work, especially in twin flame connections? First, the one person goes and then the next follows suit in their healing journey. And so this masculine, I feel, is taking a rest and feminine is feeling the heaviness of that purge. Yeah, that's what's happening. There is somebody else, but this masculine is in love with the feminine and wants to make love and be with the feminine and um, manifest this love. So feminine energy who's watching this, I want you to be aware that there is a resting period of a purge. This masculine has been healing. So this person isn't awakened and not looking at something. What it is, is it's the feminine's time in this connection to start leveling up. So if you've been feeling heavy feminine, this is the time for you to start. Okay. Now the resting piece is happening. My masculine is leveled up. They're resting. I need to do my work now. You're feeling this karmic darker energies. Because remember, you're the one soul, especially in Twin Flames. So if your masculine has recently purged something, there has been a connection that has been mirrored in you in your own darkness. So that's what's happening here as well. So this masculine is now praying to spirit. I see there's a lot of prayer going on in regards to a foundation. This masculine may have also lost some money. So they're deep in their stuff right now. And as I was seeing it here, uh, before the messages came in intuitively, Spirit was saying that there's still going to be a change of heart and stuff, but it's up to the feminine now to, uh, before they can recognize the passion here, the deep passion to action and move towards the feminine, it's going to take some work because you guys are in a progression state of purging, okay? So you are feeling the shifts, Divine Feminine, Um but then again, we can't have expectation like, oh my God, I know that you need coming. I can feel it. But it's like, yes, it's coming. But it's like, it's these little steps that are happening towards that. And you both are on the path to union is what I'm seeing. But it's a, they purge, heal. They rest, feminine purges, heals. Rest for feminine, masculine's turn. Okay. So this is what's happening in your connection. And Spirit wants you to bring this awareness here because it's going to change as the spring equinox comes in and these energies will play out for the next few months. So there's a lot of pain um, 
And this card uh, uh, represents the underworld. We have the Holy Trinity with the with the threes in the spirit world, but uh, this is the darkness. Feminine has to work through this. See, this masculine's holding this love. This masculine has hit a place, as I'm getting the cards now, see? This masculine has hit a place of love for the divine feminine. This feminine just wants this passion, this unity to come into union, but this masculine is, uh, yeah... Um, trying to gain the abundance to gift and create a wealthy life life for the feminine. This masculine's already in planning mode is what I'm getting. This masculine's already looking at the bigger picture and saying, okay, I'm this masculine may have already ended things with a karmic cycle. There may be another person, but the if it if there is, it's on its way out, you guys. This masculine is resting before the final stages or the next step to move into his own place or to do his own thing or to quit that job um, before the final thing comes out. So um, this is why it's so important now for Divine Feminine to heal, okay? This feminine is really feeling this heavy energy. Uh, Spirit says it's time to learn how to transmit. You feminists that are watching are really ready to transmit because you're feeling this with the masculine. Look at this. We have a pair here. So you're you're feeling the masculine's feeling it with you and you're feeling it with the masculine. But it's affecting feminine more than the masculine, okay? And um, this masculine knows that there's going to be a massive change in the physical world. Wants to come forward, wants to communicate, but there's massive shift that's happening in regards to, yeah, in regards to the foundation. How life is going to look is going to be very different for you guys, okay? Let's see what you guys have in common. Let's see the similarities. We do this three times. If you guys like this so far, let me know. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps things to grow. We're going to take one from the bottom, one from the top. Look at this. Feminine is really in the place of being stabbed in the back, okay? Because masculine may have um, did things in the 3D world um, that was very unexpected, okay? But this masculine had an intuition. Spirit is saying, I had to lead this masculine through this to break certain um, foundational monetary patterns um, okay, so spirits bring up an issue like, okay, if you build a house and you decide to go live in a suburb, you know, with drywall and, you know, the way we build homes, spirit is all saying that's not a healthy way to live. Drywall holds mold. It's a man-made product, the best way of earthen homes. And I, this is what spirit is bringing through. So it's almost like the masculine has to move from what the norm is and into what the unknown is. And he's aware of that. But he's resting before he takes that big leap because it's a big change to go to an earthen home where the walls are breathable and, and it regulates your temperature and, and it cleanses the air and there's no mold. You can't have mold in a in an earth home. So it, it's very interesting. But so this is definitely um, the feminine still feeling the betrayal of this. OK, that's what I'm getting. So feminine, feminine, this is really a message for the feminine energy. We have this masculine is really changing everything in his heart and his money. So he knows he wants to come forward and talk, but he, he knows that he has to be of a high regard before he comes to the divine feminine, okay? And he's not in a high regard. He's not emotionally fully stable yet. He's still having some codependent patterns in him. So this is why he needs this rest, okay? Yeah, he still, he wants to build with love, but he doesn't, he's leaving this, exactly what I'm saying, this is, he wants to build. He wants to create with the divine feminine. It's definitely what he desires, but he's, this is the joker. Spirit told me to put this in the deck because I don't usually, because it makes the deck uneven, but we're working with it because spirit is saying that this is open and it's come up with almost every reading you guys, the joker. Okay. Because it's an open-ended energy that, you know, for another nine to be here would be, you know, a card would be like nine of diamonds, right? Which would be about independence and building and, and doing that with divine feminine. But, and the masculine wants that, but it's not time yet. It's not time. He's still not ready to take that leap because there's still some massive clearing. Like he's in that rest place to integrate. Thank you, Spirit. He's integrating, okay? Um, the 3D world is always the last to follow suit, but unfortunately, that's what we look at, right? We always seem to look at the physical world first instead of the intuition first. And it's really a skill to start moving to inside living first. If you guys want to know more, I'm teach, I am teach in my membership how to do that. Um, I'm creating, um, right now I'm teaching them tarot. 
but we do bi-weekly calls and things like that so you might want to look at that if that's an interest take a look down below it's going to be eventually a big mystery school but i do teachings once a week and we do bi-weekly calls this is see the feminine is still really holding on to a lot of back betrayal and darkness but this is coming to an end all these cycles are coming to an end the foundation stuff for the masculine is coming to an end there may be a sale of a home or of property his masculine is getting ready. So this feminine has got to really hold her ground and to heal now. Okay, start purging feminine. If you're not feeling your masculine, spirit is saying it's because there's a leveling up that has happened. So when you don't feel one another, it's one or the other that has leveled up. One is at a different place of frequency that you can't feel each other. That's an okay thing. So just come into that awareness because that will give you an indication of when integration or purging needs to happen, okay? Don't take it as a suffering or as a, oh my God, I, I it hurts, I'm in separation. Try and take it as like, what is the, what are these energies trying to show me? What is this trying to um, help me with? We have two sevens, which are holy numbers, but we have seven of swords, divine feminine, Oh, Divine Feminine. This masculine's holding a lot of love, but it could also be the Divine Masculine was dealing some from very dark karmic energies. And once that was released, the Divine Feminine is now feeling that release because it, again, like I said, it's the one soul. So let's see what else. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah. My God, Divine Feminine, there's so much dark energy here, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you've got to find your connection back to the earth and the mother energy, okay? Um, Spirit really wants you to work on this, okay? Yeah, every time, every card that comes up for Divine Feminine is a spade. Do you see? Do you guys see this? Every, every card, I'm going to fix my light. Sorry, guys, that's not, that's better. Um, this divine feminine, there's every spade, 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 spade. Okay, so there's a lot of pain that still needs to be healed here, divine feminine. Okay, let's see what else. We have to do this one more time, and then we're going to clarify and pull some oracle cards. Yeah, this masculine is looking at what's happened with third party energies. Okay, there's something going on with some, maybe some third party energies we're going to clarify about money and love as well. So we're going to have to clarify that there is some abundance that's here and wanting to focus and work on things. Um, feminine just wants to move and do this. Um, so this masculine feels the darkness here. Okay, this masculine is feeling the darkness here. You guys got a lot, Aquarius, a lot of cards. Oh my God. A lot is shifting in this connection, okay? So Spirit wants you to realize, I can't believe the amount of cards that are out. They got the most out of everyone, I believe. Um, there's massive shift that's happening in this connection. So try, and it's okay if you're in a dark place. Remember, dark is not bad, okay? We're not dealing with Watiko energy. There's, there's different kinds of frequencies of darkness. If you guys want to know more, just go back and listen to the teachings. We have Watiko evil energy, which is not a part of this planet, but the devil energy and obsession and darkness, that's not evil. That's to help us with contrast to gain power. And that's why this is coming up for you, Divine Feminine. All right, Spirit is saying we're just going to take one clarification for each because there's not many cards left. Um, so let's do that. So we're going to do that quickly and see what that is because Spirit is saying we ain't got time. We ain't got time. So we're going to just take for each. Spirit is just guiding you guys a little bit different. So just bear with me as I clarify. You may want to fast forward. I know it can be annoying, but I like doing it on camera so you guys can see authentically what is happening in real time because that's how I channel and that's how I work. Wow, three tens. That's why Spirit wanted me to do it this way. So 
there's a lot of movement so just be aware Whew, i feel like i need to purge myself divine feminine this is the massive purge that you need to do okay this is the final release if you don't know how to purge it means don't resist your feelings if you need to be angry and scream go outside go for a drive scream to the heavens scream to god if you need to throw a temper tantrum go out in the woods stomp your feet do what you need to do to get that energy out to heal yourself cry grieve give it to mother earth ask mother earth to help you uh maybe take some time off some like um bad behaviors i know like me i like to eat barbecue chips and smoke a little weed and i've had to stop those habits as well i can't even smoke weed anymore um i can work with it in ceremony settings but it's not something that i can do not even a social setting it doesn't work for me anymore there's a leveling up that happens with divine feminines and um and it's not bad it's just a different frequency right it's not that cannabis is bad it's just a different frequency um it's not that alcohol is bad it's just a frequency alcohol is very much as uh you know they call it they don't call it spirits for any other reason you know what i mean i think that there's we only got one seven left so this should go pretty fast yeah that's exactly how that's gonna happen all right so let's do this guys the backstabbing and the new beginning that's coming in spirit is saying here this passion that you're having for this union for this foundation spirit wants you to take that passion divine feminine and use it to purge and to heal the backstabbing ways look at your own security spirit is bringing this very clearly look at your own foundation look at your security look at your mission what you want with your masculine spirit wants you to build it right now start with it start making notes about how you see your future how you see things manifesting in your life because that needs to happen first okay um spirit wants you to get very clear about that we have here that this masculine is doing the exact same thing right now He's looking at his life. This space that's happening right now, this masculine is looking at his love and his foundation. He's changing his life. He's making the changes. He's sitting in this uh, place of solitude right now and just refocusing everything into what he wants with divine feminine, okay? Um, yeah, and so Ma uh, Spirit is asking masculine to look at what he wants to build out of love, out of divine love. What does he want to create in his life? And, and to keep this open for anything to manifest. And Spirit is saying you've got to change this passion of of um what you desire with this masculine and the old vibration that you were in when you first came together spirits bring this very clear that vibration is gone now that vibration does not exist in your connection you guys don't know each other anymore okay not in the way that you did there's a new vibration that's coming in and spirit wants you to passionately be okay with the shift that's happening you have three tens here divine feminine this masculine is ready to start with you this is they're waiting for your last purge okay this is the last purge of betrayal and things that stabbed you in the back to move forward aquarians this is really beautiful look at this because divine feminine feels completely betrayed by this love and still feeling that this masculine is still maybe not done with his healing the focus needs to change back to divine feminine here this is very strong <coughs> don't get and a lot of you feminines have been doing that spirits like this is next level Okay, because this is a high connection. So it needs this grounding so that spirit can see it's testing spirits testing you now to see how you work. Because when you come into union, you're going to have these lull periods of healing and growth and purging where you won't be like this, you know, where you're going to have to be in separate rooms or separate areas to do your own internal healing. Spirit is like saying, I want you to feel the passion of God coming in here to bring this understanding so that you can learn how to work when union happens so it doesn't cause another separation spirit doesn't want you to have a separation this masculine is giving you lots of love as you work through this okay this masculine knows this divine love but the betrayal of this because maybe sex cheating being ghosted um being friend zone um being uh, ignored all of these things spirit is saying you got to heal the physical attractiveness for some um i know that when my you know my masculine looks like a damn football player and has, has always dated like model looking women i ain't no model 
and I'm never going to be a model. Um, and I've had that issue my whole life because my mom modeled in New York, my mom's family, they're all freaking gorgeous women. Okay, like I can't stand up to that. I'm just not that. Um, and so there was a lot of betrayal that I had to end as well. Spirit is bringing this up to share with you so that you can look at this now and look at how this world is constructed to suppress women and spirit wants you to heal this and they have your back to do this kind of work. To, the spirit wants you to end this separation. This is separation here. This masculine wants to gift you something to bring it back together because this masculine is focused on the love for you to work on this abundance with you. But this is holding the separation is this final purge of the divine feminine. This is the final purge for you. This is the last massive purge. I'm hearing that very clearly. Spirit is like, this is the last purge, okay? This masculine is feeling this betrayal okay of what happened okay and we'll own up for it is what i'm hearing okay so you don't need to focus on this painful uh the structure that fell apart the foundation that came apart with this because of this betrayal this masculine is going to gift you something this masculine is preparing for this for you okay so spirit really wants you to come forward here and to passionately look at these betrayals because so this mask can come in and gift this abundance to you this is physical manifestation stuff and wants to make love and like, it's like you know making an, like instead of rose petals like this mask wants to throw a bunch of like money on the bed and i don't remember that movie indecent proposal that scene when he throws all the money on them they make love in the bed like with all the money like this masculine wants to have lavish stuff with you this masculine's planning this but spirit really is saying connect to the holy spirit connect to spirit, christ consciousness buddha consciousness higher consciousness for this betrayal and pain and pray give it to the earth and start releasing that so that can come forward now this about um this betrayal with a third party situation you're keeping it alive here divine feminine passionately feeling this you're passionate about this masculine but he may have chosen somebody else but it's keeping it alive here it's keeping it alive here yeah it's causing again eight of swords like i can't make that up it's the focus is is not making this masculine choose you this masculine knows what this is but there's something in the energy that keeps saying to him um not to choose right because you're hanging on to the betrayal wants to build a solid foundation okay so yeah yeah look at the five of swords okay it's like the five of swords but this is also about communication so maybe some harsh words were coming through and changing this betrayal not focusing on this betrayal okay passionately working on yourself divine feminine this muscle may still be dating on and off but it's only because of an uncertainty of this pattern hasn't fully healed yet okay this feminine you've got to let this go here okay we've got to move into the new vibe now this is the last purge i i feel it okay this is the last purge before something can start to build again so passion there's a lot of passion and energy between this karmic situation but spirit is saying this masculine has healed a lot yes you have been feeling the shifts yes you've been feeling it but feminine these feminines still need to level up to the next level and you may not be in a place of suffering divine feminine so some of you may not be in a place of suffering but spirit is really saying some some of you are like well i'm doing that i'm doing that but do you notice when things become routine again so when you start to feel stagnant in your growth in your mission in your path or whatever you're doing is to look at that and to heal that and to keep moving forward instead of um doing anything else with with if this is if this is bringing your mask in closer if union's going to happen there's a deeper surrender that needs to happen here okay let's take a look at the new energies that are coming in for you aquarians okay please like the video guys if this is resonating and this isn't a bad reading this is a very powerful reading guys this means that you're really close okay divine feminines for this group this is really um you got you're working in tandem so spirit wants to bring that up you are working in tandem with your counterpart it's just a step-by-step -step process what is going on for aquarian sun moon rising venus and north no please whatever needs to come out <laughs> you got to release the deception too is what i'm hearing okay yeah finances and career 
both of you are focused on this trust the situation there has been a release of an ex okay and the deception is that this codependent and this mask and all of this stuff that happened is still keeping some momentum going for both of you okay so spirit is like trust heal your finances incur get on mission love yourself deeper and i know guys i know it sounds like a pain in the butt i hate that like i'm like what do you mean surrender more i don't need to surrender it's like it's just a forever giving up of of your own uh desire so spirit can really work through you let's see what portal energies are coming in it's not an easy path you guys i i hear you it's not easy okay but it is going to be the most satisfying and the most worthwhile okay and the abundance that comes with them is so much bigger than any darkness you'll ever go through okay just remember that the darkness will catapult you into your greatest gifts what portals are coming up for aquarius please what new energies is oscara spring equinox bringing through here spirit this is the final purge this is going to be great spirit is like this is going to be good you wait you wait and see okay let's see believe in the magic look at this wow 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 yeah you're healing the past okay so spirit is like keep going this is just enough. look at this tree it's growing it's like need a baby seed it's still you guys are still nurturing that okay you're not a big full-grown tree yet so spirit is like just nurture this heal the past keep going you're about to give birth birth is not easy how many labor pains? You, you're you in the labor stage right now. You're getting contractions. You're feeling your, your water has broken, okay? You haven't pushed yet, but you are going, you're like six centimeters dilated, seven centimeters, eight, nine almost for some of eight, you know? You're almost at the 10. Um, you're actually at the 10. A lot of, almost like some of you are ready to push, but depending on where you are in the labor process, that's what's happening to embark. I told you, this is the last purge. There is a brand new portal opening. Believe in this magic that spirit has this. It is happening, okay, guys? Um, simplify your life. Clean up the deception, right? Clean up all this karmic energy. I just saw the yin card. I'll let you know if I see it again, which is the feminine energy. So you guys are running in tandem here. What other energies are coming in here, spirit? So this is the next... This is going to happen with this spring equinox and as we move over the next few months. So let's see what else is coming up for Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, and North Node. Yeah, this is Faded Connection. Okay, come to the edge. This is by the book, guys. You can't cut corners in a high divine connection, okay? <coughs> you got to follow by the hand of God. That's what I'm hearing. You have to follow the process, the fabric of life, the wishy shayo, you know, to move into this kind of connection. You have to come to the edge. You have to take risks. You have to hear that, that whisper of spirit and trust and have faith and move through the fabric of life, how spirit guides it, not by what we desire, and let spirit take care of it. Okay, spirit has this connection. It is protected. It is faded. Okay, so much love. If you like that, please hit the like button and please subscribe. And if you want to work with me, all that info is down below. So much love, Aquarians. Bye.